Our climate is facing its greatest ever challenge. Global average temperatures are rising. Human activity has led to global warming of one degree Celsius from pre-industrial levels. This rise in average global temperatures is already damaging lives, infrastructure and ecosystems. Even a half percentage increase in temperatures can significantly increase risks to our ecosystems and species. If we had continued with business as usual, temperatures were predicted to rise 4 to 5 degrees by the end of the century. The impact could have put 80% of the world's population at risk of flooding and brought the very real risks of widespread biodiversity loss, crop failure and catastrophic rises in sea levels. The aim now is to slow warming to below 1.5 degrees by the end of the century, as this will significantly reduce climate risks. To achieve this, the UK's Committee on Climate Change has recommended a new target of net zero greenhouse gases by 2050. This will be a massive challenge demanding all kinds of changes. We must quadruple the supply of low carbon electricity, switch to electric vehicles, divert more waste from landfill, reforest, capture carbon and change farming practices. The energy construction and HVAC industries have a huge role to play too. Higher efficiency standards in buildings will deliver crucial energy savings and emissions reductions. Low carbon heating is vital. That means switching to heat pumps in new build and off gas properties and to hybrid systems in properties on gas, which will require a massive increase in funding. And training is urgently needed for more engineers, builders and installers. The UK has committed to reducing F-gas emissions by 68% between 2015 and 2030. More reductions will be required to reduce emissions to near zero by 2050. And Daikin is committed to playing its part. Our vision is to provide safe and healthy air environments while striving to make our business activities carbon neutral by 2050. We will do this by promoting energy efficient technologies and energy management solutions. By adopting refrigerants such as R32 with lower global warming potential, by developing next generation refrigerants, and by recovering and reclaiming refrigerants in use. We will focus on reducing the environmental impact of materials throughout the entire life cycle of our products, from procurement and manufacture to recovery and reclaiming. We will support the development of a circular economy, which aims to design out waste and pollution, keep products and materials in use, and regenerate natural systems. It is about moving away from the take-make-dispose approach and away from the consumption of finite resources to a future in which we minimise impact on the world around us. Together, we can be part of the climate solution.